Good morning, NFA. Today is December 20th, 2023, and it is an A-Day. Here are your morning announcements. Holiday Spirit Week, Wednesday, Santa Seniors versus Elves Juniors versus Reindeers, Sophomore and Freshman. Thursday, Holiday Character, dress as your favorite holiday character, and Friday, Holiday Pajamas. NFA Main Library Day of Reading, cozy it with a good book, no computer conversations or homework. The library is only open for reading. Bring your own book or check one out for winter break. Read all period and we provide the hot cocoa or green tea. All faculty, staff, and students are welcome. Email Ms. O'Neill or Ms. Bias with any questions. Athletic events. Anyone planning on athletic events in our district will need to purchase a ticket directly from fan, oh wait, Go Fan website. The link is available on the district website. The Black History Club is sponsoring its annual toy drive from December 4th to December 20th. Please support by dropping off a new unwrapped toy in the red box in the main lobby. Your donations will go to children at St. Luke's Coron Hospital on December 22nd. Modify is to change, alter, or tweak. From the music department, Carol Fest will take place on Friday, December 22nd, 2033, during the school day. Carols are $5 each or $5 per $20 and must be purchased in advance. Teachers and staff can place an order with a music student or through the link posted in the daily bulletin. Please see a music teacher in the main events bulletin for more information. Have you ever played an instrument before? NFA Wind Ensemble and Concert Band are seeking new members. If you played your instrument and quit along the way, we welcome you to come back and join us for some fun. Have you heard? We are having a winter concert on December 21st in the auditory at 6 p.m. Come support your friends in the musical department as they have their first concert of the year. There will be holiday tunes as well as great pieces that your friends have worked hard on. We would love to see you there at our winter concert on the 21st. The Colonnade Club is hosting a local Poetry Out Loud competition on Wednesday, January 10th. Competing students need to memorize and recite two poems from the Poetry Out Loud selection of approved poems to participate. The two top students will compete at the regional competition and will have the chance to, to continue to the state and national level. Interested students should contact Mr. Waltz or Mr. McCurdy on the checkout of the Poetry Out Loud website for more information. The help office is in need of gently used, clean, or new clothes for students. Leggings, sweats, t-shirts, or hoodies, if possible, any size. Our supply is very low. Thank you in advance for any donation of our, for our students. January 22nd throughout January 26th will be the last time Life Touch comes here to take senior portraits. It is mandatory to make an appointment to have your senior portrait taken. You must have your senior portrait taken to have your picture in the yearbook. For additional information, please see Mr. Ragusa in the Students' Activity Office. Remember NFA, it's every goal back every day. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Chef Gran. I teach culinary arts here at NFA Maine, and today we are going to learn how to make macaroni and cheese.
When you're making mac and cheese, the first most important thing to do is you need to cook the pasta. Always salt your water so you have a seasoning to the pasta. Once the water comes to a boil, you're then gonna be adding your pasta in. The pasta needs to be cooked al dente. Al dente really means just firm, and the reason why you cook um, pasta firm when making mac and cheese is because it's gonna be cooked twice. So not only are we gonna be boiling it, but we're also gonna be baking in the oven. Next, we're gonna be making our bechamel sauce. The bechamel is a mother sauce. When you make a bechamel sauce, what you need to do is you need to melt butter in a large pot. The pot needs to be large enough to have the milk and the cream that we're gonna be adding. Um, after we've melted the butter, we're gonna then add in the flour, we'll whisk in the flour. Um, you don't want to brown the flour too much. The browner the flour gets, the less thickening agent it has. So we are making a bechamel, which is a white sauce. Um, after the roux has been created, you'll see it has a crumbly effect. There's no foaming of the butter. We'll then whisk in heavy cream and um, milk. where one of the mistakes you should always probably warm your milk because you can see it took a long time for us to take the, the hot pan with the roux and the cold milk. You'll see you'll start to whisk in the cream and the milk into the roux to thicken it. After that starts to thicken you're going to remove it from the heat. You will then add the cheese This will um, prevent the cheese from breaking down, sticking to the bottom. You're now then gonna make sure that you're seasoned with salt and pepper. Also, you're now gonna add in your al dente pasta. Put it in a buttered hotel pan, that's the little pan, that little big square pan or rectangle pan that we have. Um, sprinkle some cheese on top and put it on into the oven and wait for the cheesy, gooey happiness to happen. So not only do you have to cook in the kitchen, you also have to clean. So one of the favorite parts of the students right here, you can see we're doing sanitation, just cleaning all of our dishes up to get ready for our meal to sit down. Today we are serving our macaroni and cheese accompanied by a grilled pork chop and a sauteed green bean with bacon. Bon appetit. Hi, my name is Leanne Paganelli and I'm the junior cosmetology teacher here at Newburgh Free Academy, Maine. So to, for today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is teaching the students how to perform a scalp treatment on oily scalp and how to perform a scalp treatment on dry scalp. A lot of times clients come into our salon and they'll complain about um, having to shampoo their hair all the time and never seeing that it feels clean or they'll talk about how dry their hair is and dry their scalp is or how flaky their scalp is. These are things that clients will come in with daily. And what we can do as a cosmetologist is we can help the scalp be a little bit healthier so clients don't have to shampoo as often and clients don't have to deal with flaky scalp or itchy scalp as well. This is also a way for students to learn how to add on or upsell their ticket and what that means is that if a client came in for a brow waxing or a facial or a manicure, maybe a haircut, we can offer this service to a client and therefore then make more money at the end of the day while helping the client. How much will this sell for? You can upsell this service anywhere from $20 to $40 depending on the length of time that you are going to spend with the client. You know, if you're going to do a basic conditioning treatment, it'd be about $20. If you're going to add the massage and spend the extra time, you can charge up to $40. And it does go up from there depending on the area that you live in and the salon that you're um, working at as well as the products that you're using, different products or different prices. The first thing I'm gonna teach the students is the proper setup. We need our mannequin, we need a mannequin stand, towel, bristle brush, five sectioning clips, all-purpose comb, tail comb, blow dryer, round brush, bowl, and brush to apply our product. We're going to split the head in half. On the right side of the head, we are going to have the students perform a dry scalp treatment, and on the left side of the head, students will perform an oily scalp treatment. Students will then set their mannequins up with their supplies and section their mannequin into four sections. 
Now, why do we do this? We do this to remove any of the dry scalp or debris that's sitting on the scalp. So that way, when we go to put our product on, or what we call a cocktail of two different types of products, as you see here, um, we are going to then be able to allow the scalp to really take in the nourishment that it needs without having to have a barrier such as dry skin. On the left side of the front and left side back section, students will be using a cotton ball that is filled with astringent and they'll be going through using a tail comb taking half inch subsections and applying the astringent to the scalp to suck up any of the excess oil and dry out the scalp a little. Then students will be informed to head to the sinks and to only shampoo their mannequin. Why? When we shampoo our hair, it feels a little bit more rougher texture, which means that we haven't yet put the nourishment on. What does shampoo do? What is its function? Its function is to clean the scalp and the hair. Conditioner is to nourish or put a conditioning treatment or whatever the hair is lacking, whether it's hydration, whether it's repair, will re-nourish the scalp. They'll then go back to their station section back into four sections. So during this next step, the first thing I'm going to show are the products that students should use if we're working on a client that has dry scalp. So in their bowl and brush, they are going to apply a few different products. And the products for dry scalp really are coconut oil. Coconut oil is huge, it's essential. It is organic and it's excellent for hair, skin, and body. Then we'll add something to it. And when you add two or more products together, you'll get the benefit of both. So they'll mix their products and then they are going to apply after a teacher demonstration on the scalp using a bowl brush method, using half inch subsections and painting up on the sections, starting in the back and working to the front. Next, we're gonna go over to the oily scalp treatment. When we're dealing with oily scalp, we still have to nourish the scalp, but do we have to nourish it with oils per se? No, we have to nourish it with balancing conditioners. These products are really great for helping with the distribution of oil. That means that our oil glands, which are attached to our hair follicles, are producing a little bit too much. So we can help control that with a balancing conditioner. We can use one to two different conditioners, We'll add that into our bowl and brush method and we'll put it in our bowls and again we'll apply in the same way. But now we're using a different product to treat a different part of the scalp, a different issue with the scalp. The next step is going to be massage. I'm going to have the students open their books from up to page 383, which I will show you. And on this page, you are going to see scalp treatment. Students will have this open so that they can follow a step-by-step -step procedure for how to do a scalp massage. After putting the product on, what we want to do is we want to stimulate the scalp through massage to bring blood to the surface. When we do that, all of the nutrients and nourishment that we need for our healthy hair and healthy scalp will start to circulate through the body. And that's really helpful with a healthy scalp and healthy hair. But there are specific ways and maneuvers to stimulate the scalp as a cosmetologist. Students will follow this step-by-step -step procedure for a scalp massage. Scalp massages can last anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. As I said, this was a treatment. And as a treatment, a massage is really a great treat for a client. After massaging the scalp, your scalp will start to produce heat. What we want to do is we want to trap that heat using a cap. We will put a plastic cap around the hair for about five minutes. And what that's going to do is that's going to trap in the heat. It's going to open our pores. It's going to allow that conditioning treatment to dig deeper into our epidermis. Um, layer of our skin, which is what we're looking for. After the student puts the scalp on the mannequin, they are going to leave it on for five minutes and during that time they can go ahead and rinse their bowls and get ready for a blow dry. Students will go over to the sink, they will get their mannequin shampooed, lightly conditioned, and go back to their stations where they section and get ready for blow drying. I'm asking for a full volume round brush blow dryer.